Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today we're going to be talking about the marriage, if it actually is worth it, and what I think. For you guys that just want to watch the first 30 seconds, it is not worth it, do not buy it. Uh, yeah, so, you guys that just wanted to watch the first 30 seconds, remember to subscribe and like, so I know you guys kind of like this content, and want me to make sort of the same ones. Good. For those of you guys that want a explanation on why i do not think it's worth it i just got level 51 on the <laughs> ring here and it is such a joke that i ended up laughing for like 10 minutes because it's such a joke so as you guys know when you're not level 51 you will not have an additional equipped skill and you, your ring will look like this when you hit 51 it will turn to this and you will get an additional equipped skill so what does the equipped, uh, equipped additional skill do? Increase PAL's basic attack crit damage by 50% and ignore evasion by 12. If you guys didn't already know, that is so bad that it couldn't be worse. I don't think it could be worse, actually. And if you guys want to know why, increase PAL's basic attack damage. Like, PAL's do not do almost any damage at all. So why are we giving them more damage? It's about love. You should be getting getting, getting poor, uh, pal damage to you. Like the pals should be giving damage to you somehow. <laughs> so that's kind of what I want. But you can't do that. I just want, want myself to do more damage. And ignore evasion. I don't know if you know this. But for archers. When you become a plume, uh, plume monarch. You will have your sun pursuit. Your active skill here. Additionally. Ignore enemy evasion for 10 seconds. So if two plume monarch archers were to fight each other, they will strip their both their evasion. So the ignore evasion would just get cancelled out. It wouldn't be used. As well as the pals because it doesn't do anything at all. So definitely not worth it. And how did I get how did I get it so fast, so to speak? I spent money. And I spent 115 bucks. That is the uh, almost the lowest amount. The lowest amount you can spend is 50 bucks. Then it goes all the way up to 100 and then 115 on these. Then you can spend, of course, to get it faster. There, you can spend a total of almost 136 bucks on milk tea. And that will make sure that you get this quicker no not this quicker the marriage quicker so you can spend even more money just to get this if you guys know a way to re-roll this that would probably make it a little bit better but still not worth it the only reason why you would actually do this is for the cosmetics because the cosmetics are actually pretty nice like we can see here i love this of course i'm using this right now because i just got them so yeah that's why i'm using it kind of i wish i had all these just to show it off and you would get something else like you get these titles, which Living Gaze looks amazing. There's a there's frames as well, but all that for hundred bucks. Uh, you know, the costume cost a hundred bucks. You couldn't get it for fifteen bucks, and it will only give you global HP. No oh, wait, global HP. Yeah. So, with all that being said, the only reason why you would spend a hundred and fifteen bucks for all the cosmetics is cosmetic you would not do it for this and even though if you're free to play and then just got the 15k gems marriage you would have to wait so long like if we just set an average of it took you maybe like four hearts per uh, level on average and you get 30 per week that is what is that like what if that's 15 that's three and a half so you get what six seven levels per week that is nothing <laughs> that is absolutely nothing and i'm almost i'm almost starting to laugh again just the sheer stupidity in my opinion that went to this like they put it out there they gave it a new spot up here in the top like yeah this is a hall this is hosted you have all these things you can do and i don't know why it's not and you have all these m so important things like you have the mine you have the prayer statues room reform dormitory 
not really important part in the Warsaw, which is important. Tech part is sort of important. And then you just have the marriage, and it's not even important at all. You get nothing out of it. And it is so sad, because I was really rooting for it. I was really hoping that you would gain, like, this amazing power increase, and we'll just be able to show it off and be like, yes, this is why it's so good. But it's not. So, in conclusion, if you were thinking about buying the marriages, you're only doing it for cosmetic use, and should not do it for more power. There's no power increase. Of course, you get HP attack and defense bonuses, but you can get them for sh from so many other places for free. And one of them is right next to it. Here, you get it for free. So yeah, in my opinion, definitely not worth it. Gets a big old no. Just right in there, in the forehead, no. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you think otherwise, please let me know either on my Discord channel in the comment section or DM me privately if you don't want to take a discussion or just tell me in public. So yeah. remember, subscribe and like if you like this type of content. I do guides, will content. I did free to play. Didn't turn out very good. I have a whole series on that. Um, I'm doing a low spender series as well right now, which is going amazing. We spent a little bit too much money, but it is okay. So yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.